Quantum foam is an idea that emerges from the application of quantum physics to the fabric of space and time itself. You see, Einstein taught us in general relativity that space and time are not an inert backdrop. They participate in the unfolding of the cosmos. Space and time can warp and curve, and that creates the force of gravity. When you recognize that space and time are dynamic, they can change, that they're real physical entities, well, then they must be subject to the laws of quantum physics. And the key element of quantum physics that's relevant is the uncertainty principle. When applied to space and time, it says space and time are uncertain, which means they can wildly fluctuate. They can, in a sense, look like the violently boiling surface of a pot of water when you examine space and time on fantastically small scales. So the idea is if you examine space on smaller and smaller scales, not everyday scales, but tiny scales, the uncertainty gets bigger and bigger, and space and time become foam-like. They look bubbly. They look frenetic, undulating. And that's quantum foam down at the ultra-microscopic scale that we've been struggling to deal with for decades because the math of Einstein doesn't work down there, the math of quantum mechanics and the math of Einstein lock horns, and we've been trying to resolve that conflict in essence to understand what truly is going on with the quantum foam.